Yo, 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 welcome back. Today is going to be a quick, fun one for you guys. Yep, we're just going to go over my, how to apply my rice and go over a few plasmoids, how they work and how to configure them to suit our needs. But first, you know, the, the usual song and dance, not going to say it. You know what to do. Without further ado, let's get into it. Welcome to a fresh install of Arch Linux with KDE Plasma, since my rice is only for KDE Plasma, uh, with my toolkit already installed. I'm going to expect that you guys already have it, because that's what we're going to be using. Also, I'm going to be mentioning something that I forgot to mention in the toolkit video, and that is you can access it via the app menu. Just type zero, and there it is, zero Linux post installation toolkit. Click it, head on over to option four, option K, and wait for it to clone. Be right back when it's done. All right, now that it has finished cloning, after a few failed attempts and frustrations, for me at least, uh, you type your password, hit enter, and watch it install all the necessary packages. There are a few packages coming, there will be a few packages coming from the AUR, but they're very small, just a power level 10K mess low font. And now it's creating a backup. As you can see, it's creating a backup. So if you want to access your files, you, your old files, you still can. Grub theme installed. Now it's pulling the lay in theme from source. I don't install from the uh, AUR, any themes from the AUR or the Arch repositories or anywhere else, just from source. And now it's gonna ask you to reboot. Do not log out and log back in. Make sure you reboot. Otherwise, not everything will load. All right, please reboot to apply settings. So now you just restart, restart. And as you can see, ta-da! The Zero Linux Grub theme. And I'm going to say uh, something you need to note that in case you had auto login enabled, this will disable it. So make sure to enable it again. I don't recommend you enable auto login. Of course not. But in case you, you did, I'll show you how to do it again. So in case you did enable, you want to enable auto login, you just search SDDM login behavior and you just enable it here check this box and select which session you want to auto log into all right voila my rice has been applied on your system now let's go over the plasmoids first things first the app datafier aptly named app datafier ap allows you to check for updates and update so there are no updates so you can configure it by right clicking and selecting configure. You can enable uh, check on startup, hit apply. AUR, of course, it has support for AUR and Flatpak. It doesn't matter what AUR helper you selected, it's automatically going to detect it and use it. So we have AUR enabled. Haru, in my case, what if you selected yay, it's going to detect yay. And in the upgrade section, you can tell it to upgrade using wrapper. This is enabled by default by me. But if you want to enable additional flags or Pac-Man mirrorless generator, you can enable, uh, enable uh, set it to, uh, to refresh the mirror list every time you want to install updates. I don't recommend it. It might slow down everything. And you can modify the appearance, select what you want and stuff. So. If you want to check for updates, right click, check for updates. Simple as that. Ooh, we have 10 updates, but I'm not going to update right now. <laughs> but as you can see, if you want to update, you just click the icon and then click update system. It's a neat little plasmoid. I, I am in love with that plasmoid. Kudos to the developer. And that only works on Plasma 6. Does not work on Plasma 5. Okay. So this one doesn't need a lot of explanation. This is just the uh, weather widget. I'm going to go over this one. This one is a very simple, quick shutdown. But why do I like it and why do I include it? I, I include it simply because 
when you whatever option you select, it will instantly do it, bypassing the confirmation screen. I don't like the confirmation screen. And the other widget I'm going to be talk, uh, talking about is something I am so in love with. It is Control Center, sorry. It is an amazing plasmoid. So as you can see, you have your networks, you click on it, you modify your networks here, Bluetooth, in, in case you want to enable Bluetooth, access to this will just launch the KDE settings, do not disturb, night color, and you can enable the light or dark theme. It is iffy, it doesn't really work, uh, uh, because the lay-in theme, I don't include the light version, so it's not gonna work. So, and you can modify your volume, and of course, control your media playback from here. It's a quick settings. But as you can see, we have network here and I have it still enabled here because in case you want to see your Wi-Fi that you're connected to Wi-Fi, it's going to be hidden here. You're not going to see it here. At least you will be able to see it. So if you want to disable it, I'll show you. You just click the arrow, click the settings and you go to entries and you select what you want to disable, enable or just enable when relevant. That's it. <sighs> what other? Uh... Plasmoids that I include. I included the net speed, of course, it's always included. This is a regular digital clock that I made a little, uh, I cheated it a little bit. I made it look like a better inline clock, which is which has yet to appear on the KDE store for Plasma 6. Of course, let me know in the comments below what do you think uh, of the rice if you want me to add a few things. And of course, I'm going to close the video by saying you can support the project financially if you want to if you love what i'm doing and the contribution i'm giving to linux either via ko-fi fundraiser or by becoming a github sponsor or by becoming a member of this channel to get access to videos as i put them up before anyone else and there will be something coming that i'll announce at the end of the month in a via live stream that's a short video i'm not gonna say anything anymore i'm not gonna drag it too long love you all and don't forget, keep on contributing to Linux. And I'll see you in the next one.